Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to create a photo slideshow using PowerPoint, and you'll be able to do it in under one minute. Um, I had created a photo slideshow for my dad for his chess set that's at Facebook. He's a metal sculptor, and I learned a lot in the process, and uh, so I wanted to share a quick way of doing it. And then a bunch of bonus tips as well that'll get into some of the details that can really polish up uh, uh, your photo slideshow. And if you take a look in the show notes, I have links to a lot of uh, f useful files that will help you uh, in creating your photo slideshow. Um, and with that, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create your own photo slideshow in under a minute, and uh, we just have a new presentation open, and let's go ahead and uh, start the timer right now. You're just going to go to Insert, Photo Album, New Photo Album, Insert Picture from File Disk. Let's say we're going to take this photo, I'm going to hold Control, select these two, and then let's do one that's vertical, and I'm going to go ahead and say Insert. Great, and now we're going to create. Great, and now it created our photo album. And what I want to do is now create some transitions between each of them. So I'm going to click the first one, hold shift, click the last one, go to transitions. Let's click on this more button here, and let's just select random. Great, and now I want to make sure that the slides advance automatically, so I'm going to say advanced slides after let's just say two seconds and uh, I would like this to loop as well so let's go to slideshow set up slideshow and we're going to do uh, loop continuously until escape and this is just for me right here I'm going to do so we can preview this uh, gonna click OK and uh, that's it let's go ahead and preview um, preview what this looks like so let me drag this up here and we'll click the preview button and after two seconds, it should move to the next one. There we are, and it should be a different transition between each one. And you'll see after it does the four different uh, slides plus the uh, intro slide, it will um, it'll loop back to the beginning, and I'll stop it right after that. There we go. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and dive into some more of the uh, advanced features that I use to polish this up. And if you could just uh, do me a quick favor and like the video right now, if you found that useful, uh, I'd really appreciate it. It lets me know I'm on the right track for the videos that I'm creating, and uh, I will show you those advanced features now. One of the things that really bugged me about the defaults was uh, this cover slide for your photo album. It was The default is just really lame. It's just a black box. Um, and you know, I would almost delete it over having that box, but... I also did create a template, and I'll give that away for you guys for free in the show notes. Let me just show it to you. Um, here is something that you can do, and when, once you download this file, you can just click on this, and then Control-C, copy, and then go to your photo slideshow, insert that, Control-V, paste in there, and you can change the text uh, to be whatever you want. And what I did was I made it so that you could actually, you could right-click right on whatever the photo is, change picture, and then you can choose whatever photo it is that you want. So let's say, you know, instead I wanted it to be this one. There we go, and then I could stretch it out. And then what this is here, you'll see, let me hide the text in the selection pane. This color here, let me right click on it, format shape. You, Depending on how bright or dark your photo is, you can adjust the transparency of that fill and make your text stand out a lot more or not. Um, so again, go to the show notes. You can download uh, download that. Um, and if you think it's cool, I'm giving you a, a free file here. Again, if you could please like the video, that would be super awesome. Um, I think this really adds a lot to uh, to the to the photo slideshow. One of the things that I think added a lot to this video was having music um, that played on it, and um, I'm going to show you go, to go ahead, how to go ahead and insert music. Um, you actually will just go to insert and audio, audio on my PC. And this song is Happy Hardy. It's a, a dedicated that to my dad, whose name is Hardy. And I will actually give you this file as well that you can use in your own videos. Um, 
we own the IP on it and everything, so you can go ahead and use it um, either to play around or you can use it however you want. Um, there's a couple things we're going to want to do now. We, we want it to start automatically at the beginning and a, to play across slides. So uh, instead of start on click, we're going to change to start automatically, play across slides. Um, and if you were doing, I'm, I'm going to create a video out of this, but you could do loop until stopped if you wanted to. When it hits the beginning, um, the, the first slide and it's looping, it'll continue to go. But uh, that's up to you. Um, so now let's go ahead and preview what that sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so that was good. And one thing I realized I did not do was I want to actually hide this so it doesn't show up on the first on the first slide. Um, so we can uh, do that. We want to do hide during show. So let's go playback, hide during show. So now if I click that and I were to preview it, you'll see that that little microphone doesn't appear. Great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, um, so you'll be able to download that uh, that music file and use that in your own uh, in your own videos. In that uh, first video with the transitions, I had you select the random ones, um, but there's some transitions that I think just aren't that great. Um, so you can actually go back and control each of the transitions. I probably used about 10 total transitions in the video that I used. Um, and as you do it, you can, you can preview them all. So if you wanted like a dissolve, that's what it's going to look like. And the you're, when you put the transition on the slide, um, it's transitioning from the previous slide to that is the one that you're going to do. And for me, I was some of the time I was trying to tell a story of comparison. Um, so I might I might flip or rotate or slide, um, and you can play around with all these different transitions and see um, on a slide by slide basis what the best one is going to be. But there are some really funky ones too that that I just I wouldn't use. But uh, there, there's some things you can have some fun with. You know, there's a fracture. I might not use that one, but uh, you get the point. So uh, one of the things that I found is I wasn't always happy with the default placement of the images. Um, sometimes it would be, you know, there'd be a bunch of this white space, especially on these um, landscape ones. I felt like there shouldn't be any any white space, or in this case, black space on the edge that I wanted the pictures to kind of overflow. Um, and also, I, when I was zooming, uh, I was finding that some some things were getting pixelated. So the first the first thing actually that I did before uh, before enlarging any of the photos was to turn off the compression um, of the images. So the way that you do that is you go to File Options, and then we're going to go to Advanced, the Advanced tab, and we scroll down here to the image size and quality, and let's say do not compress files, uh, uh, compress images in file, and I'm gonna leave it on high fidelity, there's a few different options, and uh, and then I'm going to click OK. And uh, that really helps out when you're, if you end up doing some of the zoom transitions I'm going to show you, as well as, uh, as when you enlarge the photos here. So um, that's how you turn off the, the compression uh, for your slideshow. So with these landscape photos, um, I really wanted them to kind of bleed over the edges so there wouldn't be any, um, any white space on the edge. So um, I would just drag those to the edge. And uh, let me zoom out just a teeny bit. And you can go back and you can actually crop them if you want to, going into the format crop. But you don't have to. You can kind of see the preview image there. So if I just kind of drag that where I want and I can see that it's running over the edges, uh, maybe maybe I want it like that. That looks a lot better to me, so that when we're in the preview mode um, on this, you'll see it, it takes up more more of the space um, in the presentation. Uh, and I think that just looks a lot better. So I would go back and I would do that for all of them. Um, if you have a, a portrait image, it might not work as well, but you know you can you can you can try to blow that up if you want to. Um, one of the other things I did was I would just uh, insert a second photo. So this was a chess set. So you know if it was the if it was the the horse, I might be able to do the horse of one army and then the horse of another army and do a comparison. And there's no reason you can't have multiple images on the slide. 
So one of the other advanced things that I did was in, in the visual storytelling of the sculpture, I wanted to do kind of a Ken Burns effect, add some motion to the photos, and it's an inslide effect versus a transition. Um, and let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I wanted to show zoomed in on my dad right there, and then that it zoomed out and revealed the chest set and then me on the, uh, on the other ladder. Um, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm not going to go into complete detail here. What I want you to see is on the animation pane, what I basically have um, is two different things going on. I have a, a grow shrink animation and I have a motion path and then I start them at the same time um, so that it's both uh, both moving and, and growing. Um, and I have a video that shows how to do this in detail, and I'll just link to that because it's a little bit longer and it takes some, some tweaking, but essentially that's all you're doing. You're doing two animations, one that's a grow shrink with a grow on it, um, and the other is a motion path. Um, now, the thing that we did before where we uh, made it so the file didn't compress, this actually made a big difference because you'll see in this image, I'm actually... Um, is much larger than than the the viewable area. So let me just hide it. See, look how look how small. This is how small the slide is right here, and this is how big my picture is on top of it. Um, and what I found is when I didn't compress it, I was ending up with a, a really blurry image. So I suggest you go back and 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 do if you're going to do effects like this, that you go ahead and turn that compression off. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll link in the show notes to that other video, and I think you'll find that useful. So one of the effects that I added was a, uh, a scrolling credits at the at the end of the video, and I want to show you the effect, and then I'll show you how to do it. So here's essentially uh, what the deal was. Um, I wanted to give my dad credit, the photographer credit, and then I, I plugged myself there, uh, slideshow by me. And it's actually really easy to do. Let me go ahead and show you how to do it. It's just a text box. Let me zoom out here so you can see what I did. All right, I just have this text box here. It's probably hard to see that. Um, I have a black background and then I have white text. And let me just go ahead and remove that animation so you can I can start from scratch. All I did was I clicked on that text box and then I added an effect and I went a motion path line. Um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to get it to go off the screen. So I take it to there. I think that's straight. Um, and then the duration, I know you want to do something reasonable. You'll have to adjust based on how long your own text is. Now, PowerPoint does have its own credits um, animation, but if it's long like this, it actually ends up stopping in the middle of the screen. So I find that just doing a line motion path is a good way to go. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how it looks. So that's probably a little faster than I would want it to go, and that's fine. And it looks like there's also... Um, uh, um, it's starting with smooth start and smooth end. So I would remove those. I do OK. And then I probably, yeah, that looks much better. OK, so that's how you can add your own um, scrolling credits. And you can do white text against black background, black text against white background. Uh, it's really up to you. So I'm not sure what you want to do with your uh, slideshow, but what I was hoping to do was to create a video and then upload it to YouTube. So um, that's actually one of the hidden features of PowerPoint that most people don't know about. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Um, it's really simple. You just go to File, Save As, and uh, I'm in the right folder that I want to be in. And then instead of PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to choose the MPEG-4, which is a, a format that uh, that YouTube really likes. It's a video format. And uh, I'll go ahead and click Save. And it'll appear like nothing's happening. But if you look down here, you'll see Creating Video, and then I called it Video Test MP4. Uh, it's going to run for a long time. So I'm just going to pause the video, and then I'll show you what the final output uh, is. Um, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, so now it went ahead and finished the creation of the video, and you'll see we have this video test file right here. And if I were to uh, play it, you'd see that we have a 17 second video that was created.
And you can then take that, uh, that file format and you could upload it to YouTube or bring it into another video editing program, combine it with other videos. It's pretty cool that you can do this in PowerPoint. Um, and I think it's a feature that most people don't even realize that you have actually a video production tool in, in PowerPoint. So I hope you found that tutorial useful. Um, if you want to just jump right into it, you can do uh, do the slideshow all under a minute. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can follow some of these other tutorials that I put together for you um, that show you how to add music, save as a video, control your transitions. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do. Uh, thanks for sticking around with me for so long. Um, I have a special bonus for you, um, as promised, and you can go ahead and uh, click on it in the show notes, or if you're within YouTube, you can click on the video link, uh, and it will take you to a special PowerPoint uh, bonus for you. Also, make sure you look in the the show notes. We have tons of links to um, the, the free files that I talked about, uh, the music file and um, the, the intro screen template, uh, the title slide, uh, and all of that. Um, if you want more uh, more tutorials on PowerPoint and all the cool things you can do with it, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, it would mean uh, a lot to me. You'll get all the updates as I re release videos. And if you could take uh, just a couple of seconds right now and like this video, uh, I would really appreciate it. It, uh, it really helps me uh, know that I'm creating the right sort of uh, content that, that you guys are liking. Um, thanks so much and good luck creating your slideshows.